Hey, it's Tom Tony T. I look at some entertainment headlines that grabbed my attention today. Martin Lawrence is coming to the Verizon Theater on Saturday, June 18th. I talked to Martin and I asked him what he's been doing. <laughs> living life, man. Living life, man. Raising my kids, you know, spending family time, you know. I'm scared to ask you how old your kids are, man. Hey, they're getting up there. 13, 15, and 20. The estate of Bobby Christina wants to fire Pat Houston and Sissy Houston as trustees. The reason? Money, but not the way you think. Apparently, Pat and Sissy will not sign off on paying bills the estate is obligated to pay. I told you yesterday that Columbus Short got 30 days in jail for a probation violation. He tested positive for weed. He also got six months in an inpatient drug rehab program. Well, he was released today after six days in jail, and he said, I'm feeling grateful for the learning lesson and I'm fully accountable for my mistakes. I'm ready to get to work and never go back to that place. God is good. Actor Michael Chase, you may remember him from The Shield and from Southland, was convicted of second degree murder of his wife, April, and today he was sentenced to 40 years. You may remember he did admit to shooting and killing his wife. Apparently, she just wanted a divorce. That's the T on Smooth RB 105.7.